<clears throat> Hi guys, my name's John. I'm currently building a 3 inch scale fowler, or I've just started to build a 3 inch scale fowler. I thought some people might find it interesting to know how the fowler comes together and how I go about things. I'm a bit of a cowboy, so I'm sure people will tell me off in the comments for doing things wrong or doing things dangerously, but at the end of the day I do them how I do them. Um, hopefully people can give me advice and tips on maybe easier ways to do things. Um, and I hope you enjoy watching the fowler come together. So as you can see here I've started on the tender. A lot of people start with the boiler but I just thought it'd be nice to have this done and dusted and out of the way. It's uh, welded construction made from 4 mil mild steel because 3 16 is, well I found it near impossible to get hold of. Um, all the bends, say the radius on the back and the radiuses on the side there, the radius is all done on my 10 ton press. Use this V block that I made up. And uh, I can tell you, some of them bends were an absolute pain in the ass. I've already cut the hole for the inspection plate and drilled and tapped all those M4. Uh, the inspection plates hanging up just there. As you can see here, I've made the brake winding arm. Uh, thought it looks quite authentic with looks like a cast handle I made this from just mild steel bars silver soldered together uh, the thread is really came out a bit nicer than I thought Th first thread I've ever cut like that I just used a tap I uh, made a tap anyway to go through the brass nut so yeah it's all coming along quite nicely so as you can see I've got all my uh, holes marked out now they're spaced at around 29 32s obviously here where the brake bracket goes they're not going to be so many he felt a surge of power course through and suddenly as if by magic the wall turned transparent a brand new window appeared and straight away we were facing me as with the mysterious planet Now these back holes are a pain in the ass because I can't get them in the milling machine. The height's not enough, so I'm just going to use the corded drill to go through them to try and keep them straight if possible. The latest Stuart Steel Mill of 
offer is here. Over 60% off a family adventure experience with new forest activities. Explore your boutiques in the family community. And track down your opponents in Battlefield Live. This exclusive deal is worth 250 
as you can see I've brought the tender in tonight because I don't want it staying out in the cold catching a cold or anything or being lonely out in the garage so I've brought it in as you can see the rivets actually came out quite nicely I've just stuck them in with epoxy resin and I've done a little bit of filler work which I'll uh, rub down tomorrow so yeah more to follow <laughs> 